Hi, my name is Mike Jacobs. I am the owner of Cruise One Sunrise, the Jacobs Crew. We're a full service travel agency located in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We're making a series of videos to answer people's questions that we get all the time, uh, travelers. So today's question comes from Marie, and the question is, what do I pack when I'm going on a cruise? And, you know, whether you're cruising for the first time or you cruised a hundred times, things always come up with those questions. So, first of all, we're going to talk about documentation. Really important you have all your, your papers in order. Um, you know, whether it's a passport or a birth certificate and a driver's license, you have to have valid IDs. If you go to the port and you don't have the correct um, IDs, they're not going to let you on the ship. So, a valid passport for going overseas. Uh, it's not required on closed loop cruises, so if you leave from Miami and come back to Miami, a birth certificate and license is all that's required. However, we always do recommend that you have a valid passport. So that's first of all. Let's talk about clothing. You know, it depends on where you're going, whether it's Alaska, the Caribbean, uh, maybe you're going to Europe on a cruise. Proper clothing is, is a must. There's formal nights on ships, so you really want to check with the, the cruise line and see how many formal nights you are going to need to dress for and make sure you have proper clothes for that. You want to have comfortable shoes, you know, on your onboard, whether you're in the port, you got to make sure you have proper shoes to uh, keep your feet comfortable. You got to be ready for changes in climate. You know, is it going to be hot? Is it going to be cool? Make sure you have the right clothes. Uh, things not to bring, for example, an iron. They're going to take it away when you go on board, so do not bring an iron. Uh, a steamer would be permitted, and there's also um, pressing services on the ship, so you can get your clothes pressed uh, if you need to while you're on board. Beverages. Let's talk about beverages because I see it all the time where people try to, to bring alcohol on board uh, and it's going to be taken away. You know, some cruise lines will allow you to bring a bottle of wine per couple. You do need to check with the cruise line or your travel agent first, um, but alcohol is not permitted to be brought on the ship. As well as bottles of water, soda, uh, that type of thing. It's just a purchase while you're on board and you're not allowed to bring those. So, packing is very important. You know, feel free to, to ask your travel agent, call the cruise lines directly. But uh, packing for the trip can be such a huge, um, you know, part of your vacation. One thing I forgot, a collapsible luggage because, you know, you're always going to have souvenirs and things coming home from the ports. So, something collapsible that you can fill with uh, the great uh, things you, you find when you're, you're shopping would be very important. Uh, again, my name is Mike Jacobs with Cruise One Sunrise, the Jacobs Crew. Check us out at funshipvacations.com, and thank you very much.